Hey everyone, Shadow Porker here, coming at you live from the 215, and this is a new pen day. Um, I just saw this on this company. Uh, I was shopping around and I saw this and I thought, yeah man, this was, uh, this pen was too cute not to have. So I, uh, snagged it and, uh, Let's check. I opened it, but I have not looked at it yet, so we're going to find out. Here, yeah, let's get into that crap. Whew. This, oh God, it's so pretty. Uh, it is a Jinhao 100 fountain, pe a fountain pen in a medium nib. Uh, let's get this unwrapped. Um, oh, here it is. Sorry, the uh, I don't have a lot, a lot of natural light here, but it's uh, yeah, I I, I I don't know what it is. There was something about it when I saw it. I was just like, it, it's too nice looking of a pen to not have, and I mean, it doesn't necessarily fit my aesthetic, but it's one of those things where it's like, you know what? I can't not have it because it's it look it just looks it's it's a cute, pretty pen. It's got like a confetti, like, like almost like, like a funfetti, like birthday cake. That's what it kind of reminds me of a little bit. And me being the porker that I am, what's to say no about funfetti cake? You know what I'm saying? But, uh, I do like the gold trim on it. I, I'm, I'm going to have to mess with this a little bit and kind of line it up. Actually, you know what? It's kind of lined up. I'll have to unscrew this and see if it is. But I do like the gold nib on this and I like the gold trim with it I don't think I would have liked uh silver trim with this at all I don't know why I think the gold suits a little bit better uh the other nib uh, the other pens that I have one has a silver nib and one has a black nib and I think I think I kind of want to go for a rainbow set of nibs now that I think about it but uh, let's get the journal open. Actually, this is my little my little black book. Um, nothing crazy in it. I think I tested my first couple pens that I bought when I had a uh, started off with zebras a little while back. Um, sorry, my work desk is a little cruddy right now. It's moving stuff in and out. But uh, let me ink this up. Um, the ink that I will be using is one that was sent to me by my friend Maria. Uh, if any of you know what this ink is, uh, please comment. Uh, all I know is KWZ Grapefruit. Uh, she said this was the only orange ink that she had in her possession. Uh, I had bought ink off of her, well, to ship, because she said she was getting rid of it. And it was a black ink. And... I wanted uh, black ink for my original pen that I bought, which I will do a new but late pen day uh, for that. I just haven't gotten around to doing it yet. Uh, but the ink that'll be going this is the KWZ Grapefruit. I don't know the company. I'm new to inks and pens. So uh, again, if you want to school me in the comments, feel free. Uh, I'm going to, I believe this is a piston filled pen. Um... I could just take the converter out and put the cartridge in. Let me see if the converter actually comes out. Oh, the converter does actually come out. So. Um, let me double check. Okay, so it's already down. So I just gotta do this off camera real quick. Sorry. You know, because I'm the maker of messes. I don't even know if this is in the frame, but... If it is, I'll see when I uh, go to do this, because I literally have this propped up on my lift that I use for work. I'm not even sure if I pulled any ink from that. 
I don't know how deep I have to, well, you know what, I want to leave the lewd comments for, uh, I don't know how this works. I honestly don't know. Because I just spun the thing and it didn't pull any ink. I guess it's one of those things where I learn as I go. Because I don't know shit about pens. Well, we'll see if it pulled anything. Because it looks like my nib is a mess. And you know what? We're just going to write with it anyway because I'm pretty sure there's shit on there. But anyway, let's go to a fresh page. Uh, this is the... Oh, I guess it did pull some. I just... This is the Jinhao 100. Uh, it looks like it's in a medium nib. Little hearts. Um, this looks like it really, it writes pretty nice. It's a little scratchy. I'd have to go through and, uh, test it out a little bit. It's a, it, the, the, this, this isn't as smooth as the other pens that I have. Um, but I do like it at least aesthetically, but, um, Yeah, it's nice. I feel like this is all just on the nib and it's actually not pulling in. Uh, not 100% sure. I'll have to go through and really dig this out and see if I actually did it right. Because it didn't look like it was pulling much into the converter. Unless it just pulled really shallow and it's all just sitting up here. But, um... Oh, the ink uh, is KWZ Grapefruit. Uh, thank you, Maria, for the... For the ink. Uh, thank you, Manda B. For getting me into pens and um, being my 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 pen bully. <laughs> I know she hates being called a bully, and I'm sorry, but guiding me in this is fun, and I'm glad that all my pen friends exist and. I'm glad this is a community that I at least stumbled across. Uh, I've had a lot of, uh, been in a lot of communities in my life, and uh, this one I enjoy. Uh, it, it, even though my penmanship is horrible, it's uh, something I still like to enjoy. I, I do like, I it, it's almost like staving off the inevitable, you know, complete tech takeover, and I still think that writing something is enjoyable to an extent. Um, as much as I text, as much as I email, it's nice to go back to a another form of communication, especially like writing. And I, I'm the type of person that likes to send out uh, Christmas cards and greeting cards and stuff like that, and birthday cards. Like, I think of my friend group, I'm the only one that gives birthday cards to people, or at least remembers people's birthdays and shit. But, um... Yeah, so anyway, this is the Jinhao 100. Uh, colorful is the name of the pen. At least that's what it was on the drop down. Um, the ink is the KWZ Grapefruit, and I love y'all. Have a great day. Peace soup.